Hello everybody, welcome to my World Cup team and preview um, of the first round. We've got Blood Bowls coming home as the team, dressed in white with a St George's cross there, kind of. Um, so you'd have thought I would have gone English football theme, but instead I just went with like a World eleven of most of my favourite World Cup type players. Giggs never got to make it, did he? But, uh, you know, pretty much, you know, I've numbered them like a football team. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Standard Wood Elf build. Um, three, three catches, two dancers, and a thrower for leader. Two re-rolls. I really love three re-rolls, but um, there was a big decision to make between whether to go one re-roll, one apple, or maybe even drop the tree down to a lineman and have, have all of them. But, uh, I just went with what got me first place in DBBL and uh, third place, I believe, in Rebel. Third or fourth in Rebel, I don't know. 1-5 lost one. 1-5 one lost one in Rebel, 1-6 one in DBBL with, you know, this build. So it works, doesn't it? It's just the most powerful. That's the thing. Wood Elves are just the most powerful team. Although humans are great with uh, being tier two for the extra skills, Wood Elves are just the best, aren't they? All you've got to do is not play Dwarves in the first round and then uh, you should be all right. <laughs> so... Um, Skill wise, only four skills, so tackle and strip on the dancers are obvious. Um, especially now, the the thing, the, I, I think I've messed up here with block on the catcher. I think I should have probably done a wrestle lineman. Um, the reason I went block on the catcher was I thought if I win my first game, I can get guard on the catcher, which would be great having a bludge guarder. Um, but the problem is, of course. If I don't win my first game, I'd rather have Wrestle. And also, if my second game is against, say, Amazons, or maybe it's not Amazons, actually, maybe other Wood Elves, I might rather have the Mighty Blow on the Tackler as my double. Um, so, yeah, two two doubles. Event. If you make it the final, you're going to have two doubles. So there's the potential to have two Blodge Guarders, and also the potential to have one Guard and one Mighty Blow Tackler. Um, so, yeah, I just, think, I just think Wood Elves were the best. Just literally the best choice. Because at the end of the day, if you, if you get unlucky in this game, you in this tournament, you're probably going to go out. And, uh, you know, if humans lose three players, they're probably going to lose. If Wood Elves lose three players, they're still probably going to lose. But it's much less of an inconvenience, uh, you know, kind of getting dice when you Wood Elves. You can always, even with three players on the pitch, you can roll some dice and win with with a decent amount of success. Certainly much more than the Edge 3 races. Uh, so yeah, for that reason, I basically discounted Bash, which was pretty much only humans, just because the tier two made humans so much better than the tier one Bash teams. Um, so and also because of that, I thought not many people would use dwarves, so I wouldn't have to face the bogey team for Wood Elves. And uh, sure enough, in the first round, I got one of the six dwarf teams, and uh, Azagal Es. Um, maybe he's Spanish here, eh? Spania. I would, I would think. I don't know. He's played about 250 games on Champs Ladder, and he's played about 240 of those with Dwarves, so he's a Dwarf specialist. He's gone for quite a good build, I think. Um, 12 players, no Apo, 3 rerolls. so he's he's probably you know he's probably better equipped than all of the other Dwarf teams. He does have two Troll Slayers, which is... I'm not sure whether that's good or bad. Um, he's got the 3 guard and the block. The block on the runner is better against Wood Elves. <laughs> <laughs> but worse against other teams. So <laughs> he's pretty much it's a pretty much an anti Wood Elf team, unfortunately. It's probably the worst possible matchup in the entire World Cup on teams. Um But you know he's I don't I've haven't heard of him. I mean obviously he's good at he's at the World Cup. He's got over a sixty four percent win rate, I believe, in Champs Ladder. He he's definitely good at Blood Bowl. Um so yeah, it's not gonna be easy at all. Uh, <laughs> uh I'm not the I'm not the happiest person in the world about this match, to be honest. But you know, I've, and I've, I've even got a bad feeling about it. So there you go. But um, I am playing it the match on Wednesday, the 18th, at 1530 UTC, which is 5:30 uh, p.m. my time. So I'll be streaming it, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'd sadly think I'll be going in the first round. I re I've just got a bad feeling. But it, you know, it's close to 50-50. Although it's a bad matchup. It's Wood Elves are that powerful that their worst matchup is still a 50 50 ish, you know, so it's not it's not the end of the world. And, uh, you know, I, I've got a decent chance to win. But there you go, there's all, there's all the players in here. I meant, I meant to go in, didn't I? Buffon, probably the best goalkeeper ever. I do like Schmeichel. I only chose people that I've seen play, like people in my lifetime. As you can see, mostly 90s because of my age. Um, 
I like Cafu and Roberto Carlos as the as the attacking, uh, you know, left and right backs. Maldini's absolute legend, isn't he? I, I, do you know what? I would, probably would have had Maldini as the left back and Turam as the right back, um, and then someone else as the centre back. But I thought I just like the idea of the two super attacking, uh, you know, backs, and then uh, Cannavaro, absolute legend. Vieira, what 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 can you say about Vieira? He's just he's godlike, isn't he? In the in the in the holding midfield role. Baggio, I absolutely love Baggio, Roberto Baggio. <laughs> I nearly put our Baggio because Dino Baggio wore number eight, didn't he? But um, never mind, I had to fit them in somehow. They mostly fit the numbers. Uh, obviously, Cristiano Ronaldo's absolute legend, isn't he? Probably the best of all time. Up there with Messi. I, I just don't like Messi as much, which is why he's not in the team. Giggs is a complete legend, of course. And uh, Alan Shearer, I had to have him, didn't I? The greatest, the greatest probably just the greatest human who ever lived never mind football <laughs> slightly biased because I'm a Newcastle fan only slightly though and then and then the great Brazilian Ronaldo Luiz Nazario de Lima um, bit of shame that he gets called Fat Ronaldo now isn't it but uh, he, he would have been the greatest who ever lived I think if he hadn't been injured but even, th even then he's like second top scorer for Brazil and everything despite his injury plagued career so you know if he had if he had maybe he's opted for the easy life of Messi and playing in, playing for Barcelona for his whole career, you know, and if he had stayed fit, I think he would have shattered every record and been uncontested as the greatest of all time. So there you go. Right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.